What's up, everybody? It's me, Crosspatch. Welcome back to my Madden 22 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. It is our home opener of the season. The Las Vegas Raiders are in town. We're 1-0 on the season. We just defeated Buffalo uh, in the first week of the season uh, on the road. But we are here at Heinz Field today for an old-school rivalry, Raiders-Steelers football. And here we go. So uh, not much of a rivalry maybe in recent years, but uh, once upon a time, this was a big one in the AFC. Uh, these were the two big dogs in the AFC every year back in the 70s. Take a look at uh, Derek Carr's numbers. Get our adjustments set up here. Let's go. So we're worried about Ruggs, obviously. 98 speed. We don't have anybody who can run with him. Renfro is always a pain in the butt. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion. And Josh Jacobs is a pretty good halfback we're going to be thinking about here, too. From the 30 on second down. Well, the goal always is to get pressure on the quarterback and make him miss throws. Put him on the ground when we can. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure. There we go. Another bad throw by Carr. He is 0-2. 0-4-2. And uh, they are going to kick it out of there. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Only two punts. Let's go, Ray Ray. Ray Ray with his patented spin to nowhere move. And here comes the Steelers offense. Big Ben, our goal this season, get him to a Super Bowl. Maybe one more for his career. And uh, if you notice some stats that don't quite uh, match up with the Buffalo game, it's because some uh, some nonsense went went on, I guess you could say, with this franchise. Uh, once again, feeling pretty frustrated with it. Almost quit, but I'm back. We restart. Had to restart things and get things lined up again. But um. Redid the Buffalo game. Not going to post that again, obviously. I feel like all I'm doing is playing Buffalo this season. But uh, hopefully all will go well here. And we'll be able to continue this franchise. We've got Fryermuth starting a tight end here ahead of Abram. Steelers are doing that in real life. Uh, he's a little bit slow. Um, but we'll give him a shot here. We'll see how it goes. We got him for four years. If he could be a, a quality starter for us, that would be pretty good. Um, and if not, you know, we'll have to draft for tight end. But we'll give Fryermuth a shot here in the starting role. There goes Najee Harris, gain of two. His numbers uh, in the last game. Off to a pretty good start. Very productive. Three touchdowns. Two of them on the ground, one through the air. And it will always be a compliment to say that a guy's got a nose for the end zone, and he sure had it last week. We'll look for Claypool here if we can get him. From the 35 and what the heck? Claypool ran the wrong route. I don't know what I did there. Max Crosby. Able to run him down for a loss of We're going to try that again. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I ran... I don't know if I checked him to do the wrong route or uh, if he just did something on his own. Yeah. So we're going to have to kick it out of there. That was unfortunate. We got the cover we want, the coverage we wanted on that. But instead of running the deep crosser, uh, he ran like a like a hitch route or like a like a short hook. So hey, whatever. 
Miss the hit stick. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. All right, let's go. Raiders will take over now first and 10. Second drive of the game coming up. A little bit of a messy start to this one. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back punts. And that's intercepted by Fitzpatrick. Minka Fitzpatrick. First interception on the season. There we go. Yeah, we could do with some of those interceptions. There's Friermuth. Hangs on for the catch. Yeah, he's not super fast, but he, he seems to make these catches when we need him. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. Najee Harris for a few. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And there's our draft class. We're going to have a bunch of them. A bunch of these guys starting today. Yeah, they bucked the trend and said, we need an impact player in our backfield. And that's the selection of Najee Harris at 24. Do you like that selection or no? I absolutely love that selection as one that I kind of advocated throughout the draft process. Many people screaming. Underneath the clay pool. Picks up the first. Get him and then come back to the offensive lineman later. Remember, end up taking Pat Fire with the tight end in the second round. But they did take some linemen later. Kendrick Green in the third. And then in the fourth, they took Dan Moore, the big offensive tackle out of Texas A&M. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Here we go. Inside the red zone. Here's Johnson on the crosser, and he's in. There we go. Sorry about that. I was distracted by some dog issues there. Crosspass Jr. is always in the vicinity when I'm recording. And he sometimes is a little rambunctious. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in. All right, we're up 7-zip. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Capitalize off the interception by uh, Minka Fitzpatrick. We're playing all Madden, obviously. Uh, I think, obviously. Uh, default sliders. Um, I haven't messed with a whole lot of... I have the injuries turned down really low right now. That was one of the problems I was having. Um, and I'll work with those. Oh, Renfro, we cannot tackle him. What is that? So I'll be working on the injury slider and see where I can get it to where it's like... The problem I was having wasn't really injury frequency. It was like everybody who got hurt was out for like 10 weeks. So that seems odd. That doesn't seem like it, that's how things should go. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it was just the Steelers, a bunch of uh, older players. I don't know. Down goes David Carr. Bush with his first sack of the game. And they're coming out with two tight ends. We're going to stay with just four men front. Quick throw to Renfro. Short of the first down, but that's going to bring up a third and one on the nine. And uh, we're going to go to our three four with a cover four drop coverage here. Can't get off the block. Jacobs down to the five. They're trying to figure out third and long. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first. All right. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there's another get off the block. There. Nice play by Edmonds coming up and making a tackle. It gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. 
18 carries, 58 yards. And partner, I thought it was a lot of fun for us to be able to sit in on their film session with the offense. I like this cover four drop. The only problem is it puts uh, TJ Watt in pass coverage, which is not ideally what I want him doing. Now he goes again. Use that as like a delay blitz if my zone isn't uh isn't anybody in the center zone there or bring the pressure from uh, the middle linebacker. Sometimes the quarterback just like freezes like a deer in headlights. Make that tackle. There we go. Hold him to a field goal. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Joe Showbert is happy. Showbert wearing number 93. Can't wear 47 in Pittsburgh. Let me know in the comments why Joe Showbert can't wear 47 in Pittsburgh. So a long drive gets him down. It's not a retired number. They settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher. And I think they not a retired number. That's a hint. In this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. But there's a reason. All right, let's go. So here are the Steelers to come back to that play that I botched before. A week ago against Buffalo, they lead here with a first and ten. Ah, yikes. Dangerous throw. Living dangerously in Pittsburgh. Let's go. Are they going to cover Harris? Whenever I see this too high safety coverage in this up uh, with this play, this is sometimes a blown coverage. We'll see what happens. Harris thinks he's getting the ball. There it is. And we'll take it. God knows we blow enough coverages. That's never what I'm looking for when I call that play. But every now and then we get lucky with it. I'm looking for the drag route on that. The tight end clearing out and the drag underneath. But if they're not going to cover the halfback... Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. 14-3. A little bit of luck on our side there. Get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Time again to see Josh Jacobs in this Vegas offense operate. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know Jacobs games to me. wrestled down by TJ Watt. And continuing to press the Gain of two. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? Second down, Jacobs once more. Jacobs still on his feet. Yikes. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. And there's a typical run by Josh Jacobs, one where as a defender, you have to make a decision about how you approach him because he's awfully physical with the ball in his hands. 12 touchdowns on the ground last year. And I can't get off the blocks. And he's a thousand yard rusher in each of his first two seasons. I don't know what I'm doing today. 56 yards on five carries. That, uh, that was a big one there. That was a big one. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now they'll throw with Carr. That's a fumble. Tua picks it up. The big man. He's running. He's not going to make it. Look at him go. Two and uh, on IR right now in real life, but um, 
but when you can also knock the I guess he could come back at some point. Steelers just got McFarlane back off IR. And they're hopeful to get to it back, I think. Smith Schuster out for this, I guess, for the season. I think Smith Schuster's days in Pittsburgh are done. I kind of hope not, but it's kind of the feeling I've got. He was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. There goes Harris plowing ahead for the first down. And he'll go down at the 28. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Oh, that's a very good run there by Najee Harris, who can take it inside. He can get to the perimeter. He can do it. Let's keep it going on the ground here. And his speed. This is a guy coming out of Alabama who did everything for the Crimson Tide. That's why Pittsburgh took it. All right, come down. Last in the league in rushing as a team. Angry dog. They're expecting Harris to kickstart their running game. He was brought down by Trayvon Mullen. Distracted by angry dogs while I'm trying to play the Las Vegas Raiders. Now they'll throw it with Mmm, that was a bad throw. Blame that one on the dog, but that doesn't seem fair. Should have saw him coming up. Alright, let's go. Can't always blame it on the dog. Down on the scoreboard. Had a drive going and pushed it past the 50 yard line, so they felt they were in There's Bush again. Four sacks on the day. Boy, as much as I'm struggling with the running game, uh, getting in there on passing plays. And the second one here, that tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. They switch, we switch. To try again after the sack. Almost, almost got to him again. He's going to bring up a third and 16. Coach is happy. Of course, the number one rule of the franchise, keep Coach happy. That threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. Caught by Waller. Not enough for a first. Joe Hayden makes a stop. Let's go, Ray Ray. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Steelers getting set and ready for their next possession. Damn. Trying to get this uh, cross, this crossing route open. But I don't want to call it with two over the top. Uh, none of this is good, and that's a flag on me. All right. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. They lose the yardage, and of course they also lose. Announcers sound a little too happy about that. Second and long. Roethlisberger. And we miss him completely. Oh. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Yeah, we are, um, pass on that last play, and that means man. Need to come up with something here on third down. Shoot, 
take a timeout. Like any of that. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second. Let's go. No verticals. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. There we go. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Miss them again. Ben. Two things you can do in that situation: run and punt the football, or try and take your shot. <sighs> all right. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. The Steelers send out their punter now, standing about a yard deep in his own. Play pool wide open twice. On similar plays, we can't hit him either time. All right, let's go. Car and the Raiders come up first and ten, right at the fifty-yard line. They switch, we switch. Car with a play fake to Jacobs. And there's. Oh, brother! All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um, been on the play fake, and that's caught. Pierre can't break it up. We got a minute 53 to make something happen here before the half. Then we're going to get the ball back. But don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? think Let's go, Ray Ray. One of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals, all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far. All right, decent return. See if we can make something happen. And the Steeler offense set to go to work once again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running mm. game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. We did ask Harris goes nowhere. I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up. Take a look success. back at that crossing route. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. Missed him again. This one is incomplete. What is going on? No, we don't want to go through it now, but it looks like we're about to. He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. There's Johnson. Get up field. Oh. He's going to be short of the first by a few yards. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. Where are we? Fourth and two. What do we want to do? What to do next? I think we're going to go for this. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory. On we got to take control of this game. They're going for it. This is Harris. There's Harris. First down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time and the decision to go for it. I'm going to try to work the sidelines here. Running this cross wheels play. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second All right. down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Johnson's got it complete. And he's inbounds. We will take a timeout.
Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. Offense is sputtering. Just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. There's Johnson. There's Johnson. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Let's go. Blood drive. Roethlisberger will throw. There's Johnson in the corner. All right. 31 seconds, one timeout. That was a terrible throw. Maybe not. Not in. I thought that was going to be intercepted when I let that go. Not making great choices. All right, so we're going to go... Uh, I'm going to throw this slant. There he is. Everything seems so awkward today. Three first half touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers Even the plays that are working right don't seem right. All right, 15 seconds. We're going to get the ball coming out of half. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. I guess we're going to go like a cover three here. They have two timeouts. They hit something downfield here. Timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 10 seconds. Meanwhile, cars throw their complete to rugs. And this offense going to One more timeout. Timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. The final shot here before half for Carr. Incomplete. incomplete. That'll take us into halftime. Kind of a long first half. Dragged on a bit. Take a look at the scoreboard here. 195 yards passing. Yeah, maybe because we threw the ball so much. I don't know. Let's go. We'll get back to it. We don't get anything special in halftime on the PS4. Just regular old halftime. So we want to get a touchdown here. Maybe a quick strike through the air if we can. Although we've been missing everybody who's open today. Missing all our open guys. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. There's Johnson all alone down the middle. And he fumbles. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's no good. That is how we let them back in this game. Let's go, defense. Yeah, they're still down two scores, but I do think we're at that point in the game where you got to reach for the football whenever possible. And that was my fault. That was my blown coverage. All right, well, things just went off the rails pretty quick there, didn't they? We got a fumble. We got a quick score. And, uh... And that's another route that defenders would vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. You know, it's almost like halftime is, uh, is starting again, or ending again, I guess. There's Alo Alo taking him down. All right. So 15 seconds, we spot them another touchdown. 
it's like none of the you know that may have ha may as well have happened in the first half let's try again Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, the Broken up. The football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't. But he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And this one incomplete. Okay. Contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now it's Roethlisberger. Completion here to Claypool. And he's shut down. That's going to be fourth and three. I don't think we want to go for that. So we are punting the ball again. All right, so we got them uh, knocked back to some uh, little bit of a field position game here. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Renfro in front of Fitzpatrick. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Car going to give it to Jacobs. Jacobs goes nowhere. Second and 12. Two yards the loss. Second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They switch, we switch. On second and 12, Carr. TJ Watt getting in his face. Forcing the bad throw. An open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Another bad throw. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Here's AJ. All right, we got to see if we can control the ball a little bit here. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far. Let's go, Ray Ray. McLeod to return it. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the offense will take over with a new We're going to gear it down a little bit here. Try to control the ball on the ground. Stay out of third and long where we can. And there goes Najee. Put the game on the shoulders of our big rookie. Another good run. After a gain of six to the 46. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. He's getting a little tired. On second down now. It's Harris. And there he goes. He got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. 66 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. He's out. Their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game is not... Let Benny Snell have a carry or two here. So here's a first and ten now in Raider territory. While Najee takes a break. Snell with a couple. Gain of three. Second down. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense... We're trying to stay out of third and long here. Right, it was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the quarterback. There's Claypool. Picks up the first. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 25-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. Now a first down Harris again. Big game. He's got 83 yards on the day. And we're going to call that call his number again there. And he fumbles. But our rookie center picks it up and carries it into the end zone. Kendrick Green. There we go. That's just how we drew it up. He doesn't believe that I drew it up that way. All right. All right, let's go. We got to shut these guys down. Get this ball back. We get under in on uh, in under four minutes on the ga on the game, and we will go uh, two clock. Jacob stacked up again. Nothing on. No gain on the play. That could have been intercepted if my uh, defensive back didn't just stand there looking at it. He goes right out of bounds. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He did his best. We're to getting the ball back again here. And guess what? Number 22 is getting the ball. Here's McLeod on the return. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Six yard return after a punt of 48. Najee Harris and the Steeler offense set to go to work once again. He stopped on the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this. Harris for a few. Gain of seven. We're going to put the ball in the air here. We are trying to stay out of these. Uh, Third and long. As if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yards behind uh, the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra. Short catch by Claypool. Stop the momentum he has. Only three third and on four. It's third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Third and four. I think we're throwing the ball. Call on a nickel set for third down. Now Roethlisberger. There's Fryer Moose. God, I wish he was a little faster. Maybe he'll get some speed bumps or the upgrades in, uh, over the next uh, season or two. We're going to keep running our power. Control the ball. Another good game for Harris. Coming up on 100 yards. Solomon Thomas there on the tackle. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on We'll get under that four minute mark. We'll go watch uh, your clock. Definitely you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Oh man. What are they gonna do to stop you? You had a lot of green ahead of him there if he could have uh, broken that tackle. Pick up this first. 
He has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? Uh, I think so. Three away from that century mark. Got to have it. Yeah, there he is. Over the 100-yard mark. This is old school Steelers football. This is how they did it back in the days of Bill Cower, Jerome Bettis. Get a lead, grind it out in the second half. He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Second and seven, we're going to throw the ball. got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. Once again, they're all over Claypool there. But he makes the catch and gets the first down anyway. I like that formation because it gets the halfback out of the game. This empty tray sack. So the reason I come back to that on third down all the time, or on second down, is because... Uh, it gives Harris a breather. Because he's my third down back also, so he's on the field a lot. They'll run on first down. Harris. And he can only manage to get a couple. Wrapped up by KJ Wright. Two yard gain. And once again, we'll get him off the field to go to one of these uh they won that battle at the point one of these uh, over under plays here. High low, rather. Coming up on a four minute, uh, four minute mark. There's Claypool again. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. And we'll rely on the big guy to pick up this first down. And he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before we get a good large steam goal. There he is. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Give him the so, uh, four four minutes and seven seconds. I think we can go like shoe clock now. Continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock Grind it out a little bit here. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the side. Najee Harris, almost 120 yards on the game here. A gain of three, second down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. He's getting a little tired, right but that's all right. Up in the red zone. Another he's young, he's a rookie. He's got to have lots of energy. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is, first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover, because one more score, and this game's over. And from the nine, they Harris down to the three, or uh, third and three, down to the five. More confident as a ball carrier, and guess what? You're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator. So what are we gonna do here? Let's go. Um, I guess let's go back to our power here. Let's go Moch. Let's go with something a little different. We'll go to the weak side. The Steelers on third down. They're at fifty percent. This is gonna take it down to the two-minute warning. Whatever happens here. Harris, I think, has the first. Take this down to the two-minute warning. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game. So I've learned the hard way that at the two-minute warning, you want to go uh, coaching adjustments. Ball carrier conservative. And we'll go um, goal line. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try to run with Harris. Harris doesn't go anywhere. Revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So they're backed up Maybe we'll throw the slant on third down if we don't get it in. They'll try and run with Harris. He's in. Najee Harris. Najee Harris. Future of the Steelers in this franchise at least. Hopefully in real life also. Steelers are looking to make it 
two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well they should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. All right, let's play a little defense and we'll get on out of here. This is a long game. I apologize for that. If you guys are still watching, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the game. A um, little bit of, I don't know. A little rusty maybe somehow. Made a lot of mistakes here. I don't typically, uh, don't typically make. Couldn't hit a deep crossing route to save our life today. Kind of had to do it the old-fashioned way, grinding it out through the run. Short passes. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And they'll get him down as he's in. Foster Moreau. The again, they'll throw with Carr. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Coming down under a minute here. Las Vegas still has two uh two timeouts. I apologize if I called them Oakland at some point during this game. First down as the tackles made at the Steelers 23. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive can... Somebody gets a sack there. Alex Highsmith. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. Wrapped up by Pierre. Seventh play of this drive. Raiders use, uh, I think their last timeout. The clock yep. stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw his car. We're going to run a screen. Wrapped up by two it. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll Will they get this one off? They do. And that's intercepted by Fitzpatrick. On the last play of the game. Let's get him out of bounds so he doesn't get hurt. That's his second pick of the game. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a So that, this was uh, an interesting game, I guess. Wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. Yeah, Johnson had a good game. Couldn't hit Claypool on those deep routes. Roethlisberger still had some decent passing yardage. Take a look at the uh, stats here. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, they'll drop to 0 and 2, and they will be at home. Yeah, Roethlisberger had that one dumb interception that I threw. Otherwise, a pretty decent game. Carr, uh, two interceptions, one on the last play. That almost doesn't count. Harris with a great day, 5.4 yards per carry. He did have that one fumble, about 125 yards on the ground. Johnson with a good day, two touchdowns. Claypool, all right. Uh, you know, we missed him on at least three deep shots that he was wide open. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, just uh, didn't, didn't hook up with him. And uh, Friar Muth, not a bad job in his uh, rookie debut as a starter. And Alcor 4 gave up a sack. Hayden led the team in tackles. Bush with four sacks. Highsmith with one. And uh, Fitzpatrick with the uh, two interceptions on the day. So that's about it. We go to 2-0. and And uh, I think we got the Bengals next. So if we uh, watched this whole game, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you think about it, maybe you want to subscribe to the channel. Maybe hit that like button. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next game.